Oh, it's Sean. All right. Whoa! Snow in the spring. Fantastic! Uh. That dumb voice. Mm. Wait. Needless to say, no one wa waits just because you tell them to. I'm distracted for a moment, and the girl seizes her chance to escape. At the same time as the girl disappears, the snowy landscape is also wiped away as if no more was an illusion. I put my sword away in the sin giant bag and I let out a deep sigh. Ugh. I flipped the sword once more. Yep. Ordinary regular truck is back again. And now... What? Ninja? Is a ninja? I know. Mm. What? Ninja? Is a ninja? Oh, so cool. Unbelievable. Now, now I have to do something about him. Johnny. Listen up, truck. There's, there was a ninja. Calm down. There is no such thing as ninjas in Japan. It's true. It's true. There was one. After all, there was snow in the spring. Snow does fall in the spring sometimes here. It's rare, but not impossible. Oh, really? But there was snow everywhere, and... But there's no snow left now, right? You're probably just so excited to see something unusual that you, uh, extra, uh, uh, yeah, mine. And the ninja, did you really see it? Could it be that because you were so excited about seeing snow in springtime that you saw something that wasn't really there? Well, not now that, no, well, I did only see it for an instant, like, a snow, it's like a shadow. It's not like I saw it clearly. Right, I saw a little snowfall myself. That was real. Everything else was your imagination. But, but still. Anyways, what are you doing out so late? Shoot, you didn't come. You didn't come back, truck. So I came looking for you. It's almost cool, though. Oh no, let's hurry back. Then come, come on, let's go. Okay. Hmm. Hurrying along, Johnny was still carrying his neck. As we look back, I hurry back towards the dorm. Looks like I managed to convince John. So now, now it's uh, sudden, but I real, I'm a real ninja. My name is Truck-Coon. To be precise, I'm a Ronin ninja. It's hard for me to talk about someone things turn out this way. I've wished my hand on off a life in the underworld. I was supposed to become an honest student, but... I saw it! It's a ninja! Why did this have to happen? The next morning when I arrived in class, Johnny is talking excitedly. You saw it too, right, truck? No, I didn't. I didn't at all. I saw only snow. There was, there was, wait, there was snow yesterday? Just a little, for a minute. Wow, that's unusual. Who cares about the snow? John slammed his palm down loudly on the desk. It was a ninja. 
There was totally a ninja out there. Ninja? Calm down, Akari. You're awful woken up, aren't you? Hey, Akari, I told you to shut up already. Ejun, did you get up here just for me? That's right. When when we got here, John was all woken up, worked up. Never mind that. Johnny, tell us more about this ninja. It's all every detail. Okay, well, you see, it was late last night. Yeah. Whoa, this is so exciting! <sighs> this is ridiculous. No way ninjas really exist. Exactly! I'm glad you believe my logic, E.G. To be honest, it doesn't make any difference to me what happens to the girl that attacked me yesterday, or whatever the extent of ninjas is revealed. The problem, if someone were to find out my true identity, if that were to happen, my opportunity to ordinary life would be over forever. I have to find a smooth chance to subject. It's like Eju says. It's like Eju says. Wow. Were you on the same page? For, are we on the same page for once? I mean, there was no, there was no way that ninjas really exist in this day and age, right? They'd be off in some mountains doing the Hindu Buddhism and voodoo, you know? They'd be sh shackled to their other old-fashioned customs and rules, having no choice but to ditch real life and the uh, mountains, you know? School life would seem like a dream to them. Arg! It really ticks me off. It sounds like you're having, you're taking it from experience. Uh, no, no, uh, n uh, nothing like that. I'm just, uh, picturing it. Imagine what it would be like, you know? For some reason, just imagining it. You sure said it that with a lot of feeling. Hit it, hurt it almost. Uh, n no, I, I, I'm sure you're just imagining it. Um, anyway, what Johnny saw was just an illusion. Like if, like if you thought you saw a ghost. But it was really just a certain sorry to be a downer. Ha ha ha! But what I saw was no ghost. Totally was not no ghost. It was a ninja. A hundred percent real ninja, dude. That's not the point. Anyways. Anyways, that's that. It's almost time for the morning greetings. Let's break it up. Boo! 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 Ignoring their boo, and I take my seat. Ugh. It doesn't really matter what John thinks. The real problem is what happened yesterday. That girl is definitely after me. More like, more than likely, she was a pursuer sent from the village to take my man me. I'll be attacked. I'll be attacked again. No doubt about it. So in that case, I need to come up with a contradictory strategy. All I want was to live a quiet life. I knew that leaving the village meant I had to be prepared for this, but I didn't expect them to be sent assassins after me quite so soon. Still though, it was only yesterday there was no way I was going to encounter her again. 
Then, the very next day... Um, alright. I had no voice in the change room. I just give a different voice. Alright, and so this is uh, Rikakari Mishikyushu uh, the new transfer student. Um, hmm. Pleased to meet ya. Oh, no, no, no. I need to think of a good voice here. Pleased to meet you. I got the. Please, I gotta like do some savvy, uh, rich girl voice, you know. I don't want to be like that. You know? mm. Please to meet you. Uh, I couldn't see her face last night because of the mask, but that voice, that persistence. There's no doubt about it. This is the ninja girl who attacked me. You bitch. How bold. She failed at assassination. So now she's thrown herself right into the thick of things. Uh, Miss Kishusha's seat shall be. That one behind the window seat. Uh, open sit over there. Yes, sir. Uh, that seat's uh, diagonally from me. Her expression, unflicting like everything is totally normal. Rick uh, arrives at the seat uh, indicated by the teacher. I'm teaching the first lesson, so let's go ahead and get started. Get out your textbooks. Hope you bought your textbooks, because they're real expensive. If you don't can't buy your textbooks, then you know uh, you're gonna fail the class. What a cruel twist of fate this is. Next, the teacher asks a ridiculous question. Do you have your textbook, Mishikoshki? I'm fine. Wow! The school year's just got started and we keep getting transfer students? Truck? What's wrong? N -n nothing with the seating arrangement I'll be spending a lot of time with uh, with my back to the assassin oh boy she can stab my throat surely she wouldn't try to attack me in the middle of a lesson but I hear the sound of something cutting through my through the air behind me and swiftly reaching out to grab it I catch it in the palm of my hands. Hopefully, it's just a bit of broken off eraser or something. A poison needle? She sits there, glaring at me like a wild animal out, of the kill, out for the kill. This is no good. She doesn't care if it's in the middle of a lesson. She's just going to come right at me. Well, if she's gonna do that, I'm gonna be approaching her. So I'm gonna beat the shit out of her. Oh, uh, but then again, in the middle of a lesson. Shit, what did it say? Uh, at this rate, my people's student life is just a distant stream. I have to deal with this quickly. Alright. Um, lesson doesn't matter. You have to take it out. Uh, but then again, it's in the middle of a lesson. This is this isn't something you can talk about around other people. Whoa, another poison needle! I'm gonna die. Tisk. Haha, <laughs> you one tricky pony bitch. You think you could rattle me by pulling? The same old trick over and over again. I say, hold on. I say this in a whisper, 
grinning at the expressionless girl's narrow eyes. What? Hey, you can't throw that. That many. Looks like I'm just going to have to spend the whole lesson carrying on this pleasant little exchange with my whole would-be assassin. Expect, except I can't. At this rate, an innocent person is going to get caught up in this. And I have to do something about her before that happens. Oh, shite, that helped out Kari. How the fuck did that help out Akari?